Zeku is basically two characters, and while he wasn't touched in 3.0 at all, he has a huge list of changes this patch, so I'm just going to hit the really important ones. Zeku V Reversal now leaves the opponent standing and comes out much quicker, similar to Ken's and Chun-Li's. Unlike them, his V Reversal still does 60 damage, same as Knockdown V Reversals. Light DP had its damage cut a bit. This was the version with the best Oki, while they all previously had the same damage and stun, so now the version with the least reward has the best follow-ups. It's objectively unearthed though. EX Shoryuken into VT2 now works properly as an anti-air. The steering on EX Flip was changed quite a bit, so lab it and make sure you can still time your cross-ups and non-cross-ups properly. Young Zeku had his throw damage buffed dramatically. I normally wouldn't mention this, but it's 20 more damage for forward and 40 more for backward, so it's a huge step up. Jab is a worse anti-air though. I normally wouldn't mention this either, but for Young Zeku, Stand Jab was one of his better anti-airs. BT1 was changed so that if you don't do the chain, you can still special cancel, even from normals that don't normally cancel. VT2 was buffed enormously. It costs the same, but now you can do two of them per trigger. This gives you a whole lot of extra damage on your combos overall. The second trigger isn't in the same combo as the activate, so it has less scaling applied to it and does more damage. BT2's hitbox was buffed too, improving it enormously as an anti-air. It's very hard to jump over Zeku now. This is a huge buff to young Zeku, who lacks a strong anti-air option. Finally, the most important change. Zeku can now cancel almost all his special moves into form swap on hit. For many of his specials, this just lets you do a form swap faster after recovery and doesn't give you any new combos. His meterless combos don't change much. They let you form swap but don't really do any more damage than they used to. So your main goal is using the form swap to build a bit more V-meter? Or using form swap to end your combos in the specials that give the best Oki? However, the form swap combos give you some really cool metered options. Zeku got a whole slew of buffs, probably as an apology for Season 3. His triggers are both quite good now. He has more useful knockdowns, more V-meter build, and he's quite a bit deeper and more complex. Most of his buffs don't give him too much of a tier shift, but they made it much more fun and satisfying to play. <laughs>